Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to fix the system thread exception not handled error or blue screen you might be receiving on your Windows 10 device. So this is a somewhat common error and I wanted to make a tutorial about it and honestly it's probably quite long overdue but I thought now is as good a time as ever to make one so that is what we are here to do today. So, it's going to be a pretty straightforward tutorial, and I should note that there is going to be variation depending on your computer's specifications, specifically what kind of display adapter and display drivers you're going to need, but hopefully I should address most of your concerns and walk you through to the best of my ability, given the number of different possibilities you guys could have. So, we're going to jump right into it, and we're going to start by heading over to the Start menu, and we're going to left-click on it and now we're going to search up in the start menu device manager the best match should come up as device manager listed right above control panel so you want to left click on that I'm going to expand this window a little bit. So underneath display adapters right here on this list should be near the top if it's in alphabetical descending order. You want to left click on the little arrow on the left side of it or you could double click on display adapters here. Now my display adapter happens to be a VMware SVGA device driver. However in most cases it will either be NVIDIA, AMD, Intel or so forth. So depending on what kind of display adapter you're using, it might be a little bit different later in the video, but everybody should pretty much be doing what I'm going to be showing right now, and that would be to actually right click on the drive, and then left click on update driver software. You want to search automatically for the updated driver software from the internet. This should be the same no matter what display adapter you have on your machine. So just be patient, this might take a couple moments. Please make sure you have internet access before running the scan. So we can see the best driver software for your device is already installed. So we're going to close out of here. If it did find newer software, I'd recommend just following along with the on-screen instructions and let it download and install the new driver software. And then at that point, I'd recommend restarting your computer and seeing if the problem has been resolved. If it has not been resolved, what I recommend doing is right-clicking on the display adapter again. So open up the device manager once you restart your computer if you're still experiencing that issue. And then you want to right-click on your display adapter here. And then left-click on Properties. You want to go up to the Driver tab at the top, which will give you a driver version right here. This should be universal for all drivers. All the drivers should have a driver version. What you want to proceed to do is open up any web browser. So I'm just going to open up Microsoft Edge in my case. And depending on what kind of display adapter you're using, so the name of the display adapter would be right here, and it would also be on the device manager window as well. You'd actually want to Google or Yahoo search whatever search engine you want. It doesn't really matter, but if we're going to go off of Google here, we want to type in, let's say, a more real world example would be NVIDIA. So, NVIDIA drivers. And then I'm going to hit enter. And keep in mind if you have an AMD or Intel, it should pretty much be identical. They all have their own web pages for it. I believe AMD even has an automatic install tool, and I believe NVIDIA does too. So I'm going to just click on the first best match that comes up as drivers. At least at the time of this recording, it should be pretty obvious. No matter when you're searching, it should be pretty clear it's from NVIDIA's website. And again, if you're using an AMD display adapter, you're not going to be going to NVIDIA's website. And I'd recommend automatically find drivers for my NVIDIA products by clicking on this graphics drivers button right here. And this should download a utility that should scan for it automatically. And I would highly recommend that you run that if you're not sure. If you are sure and you want to actually go through product type, product series, you're more than welcome to do that as well. 
but I re usually recommend running the automatic tool. You're more, less likely to mess up and get the wrong driver. And then if you download the driver, if you actually have to manually install it, if you use the automatic install tool that I showed you guys, it's more than likely you're not going to have to do this step. But if you have to just manually update the driver yourself, like if you find it and then you have to upload it, all you have to do is just go over back to the device manager window. You want to right click on the adapter again and then click on update driver software. At this point you could browse your computer for the driver software if you have to manually install it. If you use that automatic run tool that I showed earlier, you're likely not going to have to do this. And then if you're still experiencing issues after you restart your machine, there is one further thing I'd recommend and that would be to restart your computer into safe mode and then try to update your driver software. And if you're curious how to do that, there's several ways to, but I'm going to show you one of the quicker ways. And that would be to go to the star menu by left clicking on it. And then when you left click on the power icon here, before you left click on restart, you want to hold down the shift key on your keyboard. So hold down the shift key while you're left clicking on restart. So shift plus restart. And then it should say please wait. So just be patient here and I'll walk you guys through how to get into safe mode. And then that should pretty much be the end for this tutorial. We're getting close to the end at this point. So underneath choose an option, you want to left click on the troubleshoot tile in the middle, reset your PC or see advanced options. Click on advanced options now in the troubleshooting view. And now you want to left click on the startup settings tile in the middle of the second column here. So startup settings, change Windows startup behavior. And then it should say restart to change Windows options such as. So you want to left click on restart. And you can see in the middle option on this bullet list, enable safe mode is one of them. So that is why we are going to be going through this page if it makes sense. I know it's a lot easier on Windows 7 and Windows 8. Basically this tutorial would apply to those users as well. It just it would just be a little bit different to get in the safe mode. So underneath startup settings here, I'm going to click on the F5 key on my keyboard to enable safe mode with networking. So I'm just going to tap that once on my keyboard and that will enable safe mode with networking. And again just be patient while Windows loads into safe mode.
Okay, so at this point we're going to enter our computer password here. And again, just be patient. So now in safe mode, we can try to update our driver software again. So again, we're going to go into device manager. Should be listed right above control panel again. So you should be able to check for driver updates in safe mode as well. So I'm going to right click on my display adapter driver again after expanding the view by clicking on the little arrow. Then I'm going to update driver software. Now, if you want to, it shouldn't really create any harm in trying. You can try searching automatically for updated driver software, which would be the first option. We see that it did not detect anything. And you can also manually download your driver software again using the second button here, as we also discussed. But any automatic tools you find online to download and install drivers automatically, like I showed you guys with NVIDIA in particular, it should be able to run and execute successfully in safe mode. So, and then at that point you just should restart your computer and it should automatically boot back into the normal Windows operating environment. So, I hope this brief tutorial helped you guys out and I will catch you in the next video. Goodbye.